I invite everyone into a time of prayer and deepening. We've heard profound grief, rage, helplessness, resolve. Heard many things, and I invite you now into your own heart to ground all of it in your own life. It is a blessing to be together. It is a blessing to know as we look at the places that the chalice is lit, that there are people throughout the country who are fighting, who are stepping up, who are finding in this moment a new voice, perhaps. We opened with, with language from Langston Hughes and with Paul Robeson singing, reminding us how long this journey has been going on, how long this violence has been going on, how long white supremacy has declared its right to take lives of women, children, men, trans people. And we declare that black lives matter. And I invite everyone to write that as a prayer in the chat so that we just are washed in a cacophony that says black lives matter. And as we go about our lives, may our lives be that prayer. May we live that prayer that black lives are sacred, that black lives matter, that that beautiful child's face is what we want in the world and that we are going to stand in opposition to anything any machine that does not understand that fact. We have a closing song, unless anybody has decided to be brave at the last minute here. I'll give one last chance for anyone to speak who hasn't spoken. Thank you for being here. I should say that at the same time we've been gathering, there's also been a gathering um, for Black people only who are clearly very vulnerable right now if you're talking to people you're you're seeing how very how very vulnerable it is and how i as a white person can never know can never know how that feels but we can be kind to one another we can be gentle with one another right now we can offer one another solace